So we're still being asked to write an inequality based on a graph and the equation of the boundary line that's given. We don't need it in slope-intercept form uh, because it's not indicated that we need it in slope-intercept form. So the process is essentially the same. Uh, we pick a point that's in the shaded region. Uh, we determine which direction the inequality symbol should go. So in this case, we're given this graph and we're given that the boundary line is x minus 4y equals 8. So we've got two options. Uh, number one, it's going to be inclusive because it's a solid line. It's not a, it's not a dashed line, it's a solid line, so that means it's an inclusive inequality. So our two options are either x minus 4y is greater than or equal to 8, or x minus 4y is less than or equal to 8. And again, it includes that equals because our boundary line is solid, not dashed. So let's pick, let's pick a point. Usually, if it's included, one of the easiest points to use is the origin, 0, 0. That is included in our shaded region, so we can substitute that in and see does it end up with a, a true statement when it's greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. So substitute x equals 0 minus 4 times y equals 0. Is that greater than or equal to 8? So that ends up being 0 minus 0, which is 0. Is that greater than or equal to 8? That's a false statement. So that indicates that uh, it's going to be the other one, but we need to verify that uh, using the same exact process. 0 minus 4 times 0. Is that less than or equal to 8? Same exact value, 0 minus 0, which is 0. Is, this le is that less than or equal to 8? That's a true statement. So that verifies that our inequality shown is x minus 4y is less than or equal to 8. Now again, we weren't asked to, but if we wanted to put this in slope-intercept form, we'd subtract x from both sides, which would give us negative 4 y is less than or equal to negative x plus 8. Divide both sides by negative 4. And don't forget to switch the, the direction of the inequality symbol because we divided both sides by a negative value. So y is greater than or equal to 1 fourth minus 8 divided by is 2 1 fourth x minus 2 and that does match our boundary line because we have a y-intercept of negative 2 and we do have a slope of 1 fourth for every 1 we go up we go 4 to the right rise over run but we weren't asked to find that so we could stop with the solution x minus 4y is less than or equal to 8 it's just important that we know how to put this into slope-intercept form in case the choices we're given aren't in uh, this form, they're in slope-intercept form.